Hi guys, so welcome back to the channel and today we're talking about sustainable fashion. As someone that has interned for two sustainable brands, this is something that I take really seriously. Now recently I was reading an article, I think it came out like three or four days ago, about how Burberry, and not just Burberry, but other brands like H&M and Nike dispose of all their, um, like, so at the end of the season, when they want to bring in the new season stuff and the new season clothes, they get rid of the old stuff. And to me, personally, that's just unnecessary waste. The environmental impact, I've talked about um, when I interned at Deploy London, and if you go back and watch that video, I was talking about the impacts of that um, disposing of clothes and wastage of clothes has on the environment. And a lot of these brands, I feel like they're hypocrites because on one front, they want to be known as the sustainable, ethical brand, but then everything they do, it doesn't really align with what they're trying to achieve. Because a lot of these brands, like I've seen Burberry, I've seen Nike come up with initiatives of they would make things for like poor people in Africa or do a collection that's recycled. But you can't make one collection on recycled clothes and then dispose of 15 million pounds worth of goods and then still try to claim your ethical brand. Like, if, so for example, Burberry, one of their reasons, which is a valid point, which I did explain in my video about Christopher Bailey, is their whole point is rebranding. And the whole reason why Burberry was basically on a financial decline was because they were seen as just something you could get easily. Everyone could get Burberry, there's vintage Burberry everywhere. So they had to take control of that branding and make sure that limited Burberry is out on the streets. Because if there's too much Burberry out, then people see Burberry as just what any Tom, Dick and Harry can wear. And then it just, it just destroys the brand image essentially. So their whole thing is, okay, let's destroy all these clothes that we're not gonna sell. So it doesn't get in the hands of just too many people and then there's too much Burberry or so that people who make counterfeit products don't get their hands on it so that they can make really good counterfeit products. That makes sense. So Burberry actually have a valid reason for disposing of clothes. But like I've said, as someone who is all about sustainable fashion and sustainability, Burberry can't start claiming that they're a sustainable fashion brand. Like you have a valid reason for disposing of your clothes, which is fair enough, but don't don't then start also wanting to be the ethical brand, the sustainable brand, because what they're trying to be, which I think doesn't make sense. No one's bashing you because you have a valid reason for selling for disposing of the clothes. But I would bash you because okay, why are you then trying to still fit into the whole oh we're an ethical brand when you're disposing of clothes like that, if you get what I mean. But then, that then takes me to the argument of H&M. Now, H&M don't have that argument. They can't come from that direction of, oh, we're trying to protect the brand because H&M is cheap anyway. Everyone has H&M anyway. The, the brands that are doing the best are normally brands that are accessible to everyone. So like Zara, I think, is the biggest fashion company worldwide or fashion retailer worldwide, I think. But don't quote me on that, but um, so yeah, H&M, literally that whole goal is to just have as many people wearing H&M as possible. So they have absolutely no excuse for why every season they chuck away thousands and thousands of products. Like they have no excuse and it's actually unacceptable. And if I ever hear anything about H&M being ethical, I actually get annoyed because they have this, oh my God, I'm gonna check my phone, right? I know H&M has this collection that they try to say is ethical or whatever, yet yeah, you're disposing of millions of products. It makes no sense whatsoever. No sense. Okay, so H&M <laughs> has a whole page on their website about sustainability and all the awards they've won for sustainability. It's called H&M Group Sustainability and <laughs> The headline of this page, right, says, we want to lead the change towards a more sustainable fashion future. No, I'm, I'm done. Right. Bro. 
know. You know what? I need to I need to find the figures because I don't want to misquote stuff. How can you dispose of millions of pounds of products and then make a whole page about sustainability like you're some sustainable fashion brand? Like stop it. So many brands try to be sustainable but they're not. Like personally, okay, so I've interned for Stella McCartney and Deploy London if you're wondering what the two sustainable fashion brands are to um, intern for are. And those brands legit are sustainable. Every single thing they do, every decision they make is sustainable. So for example, at Deploy London, all there's, so there's zero wastage. What that means is, first of all, there's never gonna be, clothes are never gonna be thrown away. As a last resort, it'll be given to charity or it will be sent to places um, where people actually need the clothes, like third world countries, then in terms of how we make clothes, so what happens is normally when you make clothes, you cut out a fabric. So obviously there'll be wastage bits of the fabric. Now we use those wastage bits to make accessories and millinery. So like hats, um, maybe other accessories like armbands, just, Anything that can be used and not waste. Now, all these other brands, from what I know personally, outside Stella McCartney and Deploy London, obviously I haven't worked at other sustainable brands, I'm aware of them like Vader and stuff, but I'm just saying from where I've worked. Normal brands, what they do is after they make the cutouts, they throw away, so think about how much waste that is. They throw away all the excess cutouts from every single fabric cutout they make. And then on top of that, they then make products which they then throw away anyway at the end of the season if it doesn't sell because they've made their profits. Like there are people in Africa who don't have footwear to wear. If you were really about sustainability and zero wasted, you would take it to places where people actually need these things and at the same time you would get praised for it. It's like, oh, Nike um, took a million of their products, a million shoes and gave them to kids in need who didn't have footwear. But instead, why why burn it? It doesn't make sense. And then you're like, these brands like H&M are really out here trying to claim that they're sustainable. Like, sometimes I wonder if they actually know what the word sustainability means. Like, if every year you throw away and burn 20, 20 million or so pounds of um, clothing, and then, <laughs> and then at some point in 2017, maybe you did some ethical thing. It doesn't make you a sustainable or ethical brand. You're unethical, Nike's unethical, H&M's unethical, Burberry's unethical, which is, it's not fine, but it's like, call yourself a fashion brand. Don't try and add the ethical bit to it. Like, it's quite annoying because like, because then it takes away from people who are, actually doing things like Stella McCartney like it takes people from it takes it away from people who actually take the stuff seriously and people who really actually like dedicate their lives and their brand to making sure it's 100% ethical and sustainable okay so I'm reading an article on itv.com and it says that so this is talking about H&M and it says that high street fashion brand H&M reportedly burned 15 tons worth of unwanted stock at a Swedish power plant. 15 tons. The retail company defended its action saying it did not burn any clothes that were safe to use. That's convenient, isn't it? Oh, 15 tons of clothes weren't safe to use. Right, yeah. Like we're gonna buy that. So, yeah, it's just, <sighs> fashion is just so unethical. Like I said, like, literally fashion contributes to is the second highest contributor to waste tell me what fast fashion is and why is it bad um fast fashion means that um you can get a new piece of clothing almost every week because they cost about five to ten pounds um you can actually uh the shelves are filled with a large variety of similar things um, using the cheapest possible materials um, so that they can be produced as quickly and as uh, regularly as possible. So this way of consumption means that 
large amount of clothes that we bought are actually thrown away shortly after it was actually produced and purchased. So um, this way of consumption actually means that UK landfill is actually um, running out of space because um, we throw away annually mm. almost as much as we actually purchase each year. Yeah, you gave this figure, Britain throws away almost two million tonnes of clothing a year, and I suppose it's a slight chicken and egg type argument to say whether it's overconsumption that's driven by overproduction, is oh, it the retailers overproducing, or is it the other way around? Well, it is um, a sort of two-way <laughs> street, uh, which is why um, it's very important for both um, designers, brand houses, re retailers and um, consumers to be aware of the impact that we all have on our environment. So at Deploy, um, which is based in Marylebone, um, we have a different way of um, uh, providing sustainable uh, fashion, which is not just about sourcing um, eco materials, because if you overconsume eco materials and throw it away, it's still terrible for the environment. So, what we do is we really um, source and design and produce in a sustainable way by prov providing more versatility and value yeah. in each garment. Pieces that you can wear in, in different ways. Even global warming, because think about how much that some of these guys burn all these products and then they emit all sorts of gases that affect our environment and they then want to claim that they're ethical is just like mate 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 i give up i give up on all these brands when i give up like i give up anyway thank you for watching if you like anything about fashion um, it will be on this channel i talk about fashion all the time that's basically what this channel is about it's called the fashion archive but yeah, subscribe to my channel if you're new, like this video, stay tuned for more. Obviously, I haven't been that consistent, mainly because I'm working on my documentary, which most people would know unless you're new. So yeah, if I don't post on a weekly basis, it's not because I'm being lazy or I'm ghosting, I'm working on something else that has to do with the channel. So yeah, I'm out.